Today we're taking a look at the GoPole Bobber, a GoPro handle which, um, well, as the name implies, bobs to the surface when you drop it in the water. So there's really not too much to comment on the GoPole Bobber. If you guys want to see my thoughts on a GoPro hand grip, you can check out my review of the GoPole um, grenade grip where I go into a bunch of detail about how I started using a hand grip for my camera more and why I really started to actually kind of take that grenade grip with me everywhere I go and kind of fall in love with the idea of using a hand grip for my GoPro again because it is definitely something that you should check out. It makes taking images and taking video way easier and more stable and I find myself because of having one of those using my camera in more situations where I wouldn't normally use it. For example, the example I used in that review was a, if you're on a roller coaster, you're not going to be able to take your GoPro pole with you because, well, they're probably just not going to let you use it. But something like a little hand grip like this, you can still get your arm way out there and you can get a really wide shot and you can get you and a couple friends in the image without much difficulty. And then because you've got this grip to hold on to it, you've got a really secure point to mount it and it's going to be a pretty solid shot and basically you're turning your arm into a GoPro pole and well, it's not quite as long, it's more stable and a lot more versatile and a lot smaller to take with you and I guess that's kind of the first, well, we'll start with drawbacks of this GoPro bobber. It is a lot larger than the GoPro grenade grip which I've kind of fallen in love with. So. This mount is great because it floats, and we'll get that out of the way right away. This is designed for surfing, this is designed for use around water sports. When you drop this thing in the water, it bobs to the surface, it floats your GoPro, and it makes sure that even if you drop it, you lose it, you can still go back and find it. And they really thought a lot about that. It comes with two different attachments for it. It gets one is a wrist mount like this, and then the second mount, and you could use these together or separately if you want. You can unscrew this one here, I'll put the other one on and it's a carabiner mount. So the carabiner mount, the idea behind it is that, say you're diving or you're surfing, probably more for diving, um, what you can do is you can actually just clip this whole thing directly onto your BCD and then um, just have really easy access to it whenever you need it. So they've included both the wrist strap mount as well as the carabiner mount. So you can clip this onto whatever you need so that it's always right there and it's always ready to go and you've got access to it. But then again, when you're doing your high impact sports or your high action sports around the water and you don't need it, it's not going to be in your way, but it is going to be attached to you. But I think if you're going to be wanting just a grip for everyday use, I prefer the grenade grip. This one is a little bit larger. It has to be to be in order to float the camera, but that largeness and that just the fact that it's a little bit bigger does make it a little bit harder to take everywhere you go. So if you're not going to be using your camera on the water, I think I would go with the smaller grenade grip. But if you're going to be using your camera on the water, of course, this one is invaluable and this is the one to go for. But it is interesting how even though there's not a huge size difference, there is uh, enough that it is noticeable and something which is definitely it definitely changes your decision on whether or not you take it with you or you don't. The grenade grip fits very easily into your pocket, whereas the bobber doesn't. So that was a bit of a review of the bobber and the fact that it's a great floating hand grip for your camera, but also a little bit of a discussion on size and how small changes in the amount of stuff you've got and the, size, the amount of space stuff takes up really does change your decisions on whether or not you take them with with you. All in all, the grenade, the bobber is really great. It's a great hand grip for your GoPro camera, and if you're going to be using it around the water, it's well, it's a way. It's the difference between having your camera at the end of the day and not. So, I think some kind of floating hand grip for your GoPro camera is really great. I haven't made able to find a good DIY version of one of these yet. I've tried a couple PVC ones, but the amount of volume needed to make a really good PVC pipe. A uh, hand grip for your GoPro that's going to float all the time is fairly large, so I haven't been able to do it in a smaller size than this. But if I do, I'll be sure to make a video of it. Guys, thanks for watching. This was another GoPro tips and tricks video. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and check out my channel for lots more videos. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below. I read all of them, and I do respond to as many of them as I can. If you guys want to keep up to date with all the goings on at GoPro Tips, make sure you check out our Facebook page. There's a lot of behind the scenes uh, stuff that goes on over there. So if you want to keep up with all of that, check that out. And most of all, until next time, thank you very, very much for watching.